what's going on guys making retracted back again with yet another video for you guys and today i'm going to be covering apple's official leather cases for the iphone 12 pro max and i have it in two colors right here you can see saddle brown as well as baltic blue so to be honest my go-to cases for first party cases will definitely be the leather cases yes they are kind of expensive and does it even justify the price well in this video let's find out and honestly at the price of 269 ringgit they don't come in cheap because 269 ringgit can get you the autobox defender which has way more drop protection way more protection in general over the official leather cases but anyways in this video we're going to be checking this out so if you haven't subscribed to this channel already do hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which i post so without further ado let's get right into the unboxing of the leather cases for the iphone 12 pro max all right guys so i'm back as you can see i have my iphone 12 pro max right here so i have the gold iphone 12 pro max but you might be wondering why i have the blue case because there's actually a blue iphone 12 pro max coming on the way it's been delayed that's the reason i have two colors here the brown one i'll be using on my 12 pro max and the blue one will be wait for the blue iphone 12 pro max to arrive so coming back to the reason why i love the leather cases from apple is because not only do they fit perfectly because it's a first party accessory but it also wears out nicely as you can see right here this is the black leather case on my iphone 11 pro max and honestly it's worn up pretty well i've dropped my phone in this case as well and the leather has just offered more than enough protection for me daily as a daily case but of course i bet that's just good luck because i didn't break my phone and if you're the type with butterfingers i suggest you to get like a case from other box or live proof all right so let's get into the unboxing of the leather case you can see the price right here i bought it from the official apple reseller in malaysia which is machines one of the official apple resellers i should say because we do not have an official apple store in malaysia so we have to go through a reseller so you can see right here this case is for the iphone 12 pro max and this is a saddle brown case so both of the unboxings are similar so i'll just quickly take out the case on the packaging and i'll show you the case instead so you can see the price uh 269 ringgit very similar to the auto box defender but however this leather case offers very slick protection in my opinion and i think it's the way the apple intends you to use the iphone so it keeps it very minimalistic but of course offers adequate drop protection of course it doesn't have a drop protection or drop rating certification but honestly from the way i use my device and from accidental drops my device has never been damaged so to be honest the leather case works for me and i think that it offers the iphone a certain level of class especially considering that this is made from genuine leather all right so you can see iphone 12 pro max leather case this is in saddle brown all right let me pull this out of the sleeve okay so once i take this off all you get inside are the instructions so you can see how to install your phone in the case all right so guys you can see the case itself very nice uh, leather case so on the inside you get a insert as well let's see what it comes with basically nothing just a piece of paper so we'll just throw that to the side so on the inside of the case we do have the MagSafe magnets right here so you can line up things like the MagSafe charger or the wallet so i do not have both of them because i'm still waiting for the MagSafe duo because i think that's a more practical choice especially if coming from a person that wears an apple watch on the daily so you know apple watches do not last two days they last about one half day so i usually charge my apple watch overnight so i think i do need the MagSafe duo instead of having two chargers to charge my apple watch as well as my iphone right so the inside you can see this very very nice um, microfiber material the sides are not lined in microfiber however they are actually leather and of course the smell is really nice being genuine leather okay so just a side note this case does uh, get a patina or should i say like a wear over time as you use the MagSafe, as you put it out of your pocket as you use it it does get a little worn which is generally the purpose that you buy a leather case for the characteristic of the leather which, which makes it very unique for every leather case which means this will have a very unique look on its own same goes with the blue of course the lighter colors will show more patina compared to the darker cases like the blue color so honestly you can see the black you can't really see much but you can see it's like on the corners here it's like a bit faded and stuff like that it gives a nice characteristic but it's not so obvious on the black color but it'll be very obvious on the brown because i've actually used the brown leather case on my 10s max and it actually developed a very nice 
uh, tone but I do not have it with me right now but I'm looking forward to seeing how this case wears out alright so let me take out the blue color from the packaging same similar because they are both the same just except for the color alright the same documentation I don't think you really need to see that again let me put this back alright so these are the two cases you can see right here honestly you cannot get as close to the original color of the Pacific Blue iPhone as the original leather case because honestly the original leather case the color of the blue is very very reminiscent to the iPhone 12 Pacific Blue or the iPhone 12 Pro series Pacific Blue so that's the reason I got this to actually match the device let's go with the saddle brown first let me show you how the install goes so of course I do recommend cleaning your device up first alright guys so let's go in button side first very easy top and the bottom you can see that uh, splash screen right there so that shows you're using a MagSafe compatible case all right you can see right here very very nice cutouts of course you expect that from a first party case let's take a look at the lip the iPhone 12 Pro Max leather case has a very very big lip to be honest very nice so it protects the camera from any sort of damage Alright guys, so looking at the bottom of the case, you can see the cutouts are spot on. What else do we have? The buttons are very tactile. I do love the leather case buttons. As compared to the 11 Pro Max version of the leather case, I think the 12 Pro Max leather case buttons are just really, really awesome. I've never used the 12 Pro Max case as good as these buttons, to be honest. Super tactile, responsive. You can even hear the click. Let me bring it closer to the mic. You can see the lively click right there. It's no mushy feeling at all. Alright, let's take a look at the front. You can see this gorgeous uh, screen right here. You can even see a bit of the frame. As you say, the stainless steel frame. You get it at certain angles. You can see right here, the corner. So it does show off the color of your device a little, at least. Because this offers very minimal protection, to be honest. And yeah, you're not going to get like 10 foot drop protection with this. But you're going to get adequate scratch and... I should say accidental drop protection and if you drop it from a seating position definitely it will not damage the device all right guys so you can see the mute and ring toggle very small cutout but very precise as well not like the other brands the third-party brands usually they are a bit off to the top so if you're a person with ocd definitely this will look better all right so let's take a look at the blue color ladder case so let me take this out it's very simple to take off to be honest it's very flexible so you can see me taking off with no struggle right here Alright, so this is my first time actually using the blue because I have actually tried on the brown earlier. I was using for a couple of hours, I should say. Well, let's let's do the blue one so you can see the insides are the same. Nice microfiber cloth. And the corners are made basically leather. So it's very similar except for the button colors and the case colors. So you can see the button color is actually blue as well. So on the brown one, it's actually a darker shade of brown. Alright, so let's get it on the Go iPhone. Alright, so you can see the splash screen again. Well, let's take a look at the cutouts. Similar cutouts right here. All right, so you can see the bottom cutouts are spot on. But of course, I'm not sure whether it goes well with the Go. Uh, I still prefer the brown or the black with the Go iPhone. So you can see buttons work the same. So it's overall a very nice case, I should say. Um, of course, based on personal preference, if you have the blue iPhone, definitely go with either the black or the Baltic blue case that I have right here. The gold doesn't really match. I think it matches the brown and the black better. So this has been a very quick unboxing and look at the leather case for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So there'll be more cases coming in the future. So that's all for this video, guys. Thanks guys for watching and I hope you did like it. If you did like it, do hit that thumbs up button and I will see you guys in the next video.